I appreciate you wanting your kids to be like me. Even with everything that's gone wrong between us lately. Well, you're not perfect. Yeah. I mean, I'm not perfect either. But you're not surrounded by violence, and I think you're... Well, you're an amazing man, and you're a great role model. Thanks. So you understand why I won't release those records to Sonny? Yeah. He's just gonna have Spinelli find them. Spinelli can find anything. How do you think I found all that information about Brenda and Dante? Yeah, you were, you were, um, you were brilliant at the wedding, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Sonny still married Brenda, though. Yes, and it may have cost her her life. Must be hell for you. You know, the police and Interpol doing everything they can to find her when you're the one that wants to save her. I can't save Brenda, and you can't save Sonny. The only thing we can do is take care of ourselves and the people we love. Very wise. <laughs> well, look at that. Huh? We finally uh, found a way to compromise on Sonny and Brenda. Now that our marriage is over, Sam, can I ask your professional opinion as a PI? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm grateful for anything that keeps me occupied. I have a picture I would like you to look at. I need an objective take on it. All right. Um, oh, not this one, but what? look at how cute Jake is. Oh, <laughs> no. <gasps> look at that face. He looks so preoccupied. He looks exactly like Jason, you know. I know, he's getting more and more like Jason every day. I guess I'm going to have to explain things sooner than I thought. Well, I think you just have to tell him that Jason never stopped loving him. Everyone was just trying to protect him. Yeah, when the timing is right. God, I can't just imagine having a child that looks exactly like Jason. Not that I want a baby. I, I, I don't. I don't. Any, anyway, what, what's that? Where's that picture? You know, you need to get back to sleep, and I need to finish my round. So, are you sure that's not a problem? Yes. I can... No, I'm. I'm very sure. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Hey, it's Elizabeth. Can I speak with you in private for a few minutes? There's a wall between Dante and me. We keep tearing it down, something happens, and then we build it back up even worse. You know, I told, I told Dante and Lulu to take a vacation. You know, just take some time off. I, I, you know, I knew Dante wouldn't go for it, but I was hoping that I wouldn't have to go against my son to find Randa. We don't really have to go against Dante. We can just, you know, kind of work around him. Jason, it's bad. It's gonna get worse. But I'm telling you, I don't care how many enemies come after me, I'm gonna find Brenda if that's the last thing I ever do. Okay. Hey, hey Dante's got one of Theo's guys down at the PCPD. It's the same guy who tried to kill Sean Butler. All right, I'll see you. Thanks for bringing us by. Hey, come, come here. Come in here. How, how, how did you know that Dante uh, found this guy? I found him. Yeah, I followed him to an alley and... and oh, okay, and... stop. I need you to start at the beginning because I really need to know how you got involved in the situation. Okay. Well, Molly spotted this guy, leaving Kelly's. She said he was the one who was trying to kill Sean Butler, and uh, I followed him. Well, why didn't, why didn't you call me? Oh, well, Molly's known exaggerated things, so I want to make sure I had but some solid But she was right working. about this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I followed him for a few blocks, but I think he spotted me because he, he ducked into an alley off 3rd. And, and uh, then he was waiting for you. Yeah. I should have known better than that. I don't Did know. he pull a gun? Not until he mentioned the name Corinthos. When, when did Dante show up? Uh, about two, three minutes later. Yeah. I, I was trying to talk the guy down, and, and, and Dante showed up. I used that as a distraction, got the gun away from him. I, done, I used everything that you taught me, Jason. I took my opponent off balance, and I put him down. Okay, but I, I, I taught you those moves so you could survive in prison. 
Yeah. You're, you're not in prison anymore. I don't want you anywhere near a situation like that. I thought you knew I could handle myself. Yeah, but what, what if the gun went off and you got shot? I wasn't. What if the other guy got shot and died by accident? You would have lost your parole and you wouldn't have right back in Pentonville. None of that stuff happened. I followed the guy and I got the gun away from him. Look, I didn't do anything that you would have done. Dr. Renfro. I'm so glad to see you feeling better. Thank you. Dr. I probably should have brought CDs instead of crime novels. Oh, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. I wasn't really expecting a visit. We barely even know each other. Well, you were so kind to Brenda when she was staying at Jason's. I, I thought the least I could do to thank you was stop by and say hello. Hi. <laughs> Especially given the circumstances. I know. What kind of a madman tries to kill you in place of Brenda? One that will be history very soon, I hope. Does Jason have some idea where uh, Theo Hoffman is hiding? No, you know, I'm not really in on the loop of things, but as far as I know, there aren't any leads. It's as if Brenda and Theo just vanished off the face of the planet. Feeling Mike will go to you. That feels good. Look, we don't know yet. Okay. Let him go. Let him go. Just let him go. Why? So you can beat him until he talks, or kill him if he doesn't. If know. he's working for Theo, that means he knows something. We wasted too much time. So find a way to let him go. So he pulled the gun on Michael. I got him on assault with a deadly weapon. I have to question him. Do not protect the man who pulled the gun on your brother. Brenda could be out there dead. Stop being the good cop for once and let me do what I do. You know what? I am a good cop. And I'm not going to apologize for it, and that's not going to change. But maybe there is a way we can help each other. Dr. Lee, call Patrick. Hey. So what's up? I need an opinion, and I know you'll be blunt. <laughs> uh, thank you, I think. I'm afraid my vision has been clouded by wishful thinking. I've been guilty of that myself. Look at this picture. What do you see? I see a beautiful little boy. Looks like Aiden, but then again, I am a guy and all babies look the same Where to me. Where does he look like? Nicholas? Or Lucky? Elizabeth, I, uh... Um... Please, I, I just need an objective opinion. <laughs> well, the paternity test said that Nicholas is Aiden's father, right? I, what if Helena switched the test? Why would she do that? I don't know. Maybe because she's insane? Elizabeth, here at the hospital, we have to trust the lab worker. We can't do our job. We can't twist the facts and change the truth to be what we want. What if the truth is staring me in the face? Maybe Aiden looks like Lucky because he really is Lucky's son. So wh why did you follow Theo's guy? I told you, Molly. No, no, I didn't. I didn't ask you why you were suspicious. I asked why you chose to follow a hired killer instead of calling one of ten people who could have handled the situation. I didn't want you. to call anybody else. I wanted to take care of it myself. Why? To prove that I could. Well, you don't. You don't have to prove anything, Michael. Well, maybe I had to prove something to myself. It was something I could actually do right. Something I'm actually good at. But you, you're good at a lot of things. Like what? <laughs> let other people protect me. Let other people take care of me. I have to be able to take care of myself. Look, you know when Dante showed up, he asked me what I would have done if he wasn't there? I would have done the exact same thing. I'm not going to be anybody's victim. So you did what you did today because of what, what happened in prison? Okay, look, if you're mad about what happened, just no, stop I'm, I'm, No, no, listen, I, don't, I just don't want to push you, okay? You just need to be aware of what's driving you. You should be able to step back from the situation, look at it, think it through without reacting because if you get emotional, you make mistakes and mistakes will get you killed. Okay, I'll do better next time. Look, there's not going to be a next what time. What are you talking what about? What am I talking about? You got too close to this business today. Look, Sam almost died and you're going after Theo. You have more than you can handle right now. There's something I can take care of on my own. Look, I wish, I wish you would believe that, Jason. I wish you would believe in me. She's not here. Jocelyn's with Jack tonight. No, Morgan, I don't need you to come home. No, I'm fine. I'm fine by myself, really. Thanks for checking. All right. I love you, too. Bye.
Fine, Jason. I have a lead on Theo Hoffman. out of here. Hey, you had nothing from the start. Well, actually, I had you on assault with a deadly weapon, but someone's paid your bail. You see that guy out there? You know him? Sonny Corinthos. I've never seen him in person. Anyway, he's pretty pissed off about you threatening his son. He's also pretty angry that his wife was kidnapped on the wedding day, no less, but he's graciously agreed to secure your release because he's a generous guy that way. Yeah, well, I'm not going out there. I won't make it past the parking lot. Well, why not? What's the problem? You said you didn't know anything about Theo Hoffman. You didn't know where Brenda Barrett was, so you have nothing to worry about. No, I'm refusing bail. You can take that up with Mr. Corinthos. You the guy who pulled the gun on my, on my son? Yeah, he is. Maybe I should leave you two alone. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be great. 